Hey hope, welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at this new master pull rivet gun. Um, I always call them pot rivet guns, but you know, they've sent me this art uh, to do this review. So let's get an up close shot. We'll get it unboxed. We'll see what comes in the box and then we'll get a few tests and just see how it performs. So this is the box, closer look at it. Uh, New Master Home Improvement Single Pull Rivet Gun. Down here, this shows you the different sizes. 2.4, 3.2, 4 and 4.8. This just gives you some idea of what you can use it for. So, like tube, aluminium, plastic, wood and uh, metal. So let's just uh, open it up and see what we get in the box. So you get a bag of rivets, you get instruction manual. I mean, it is a simple tool. If you've never seen one of these before, it's basically, it's just for joining two items together with a rivet. Um, as you can see, the end, they are marked up with the sizes. So that is the 4.8. Um, and then you've got your other sizes that are just screwed into the the back. Overall feel, it's uh, it's got a bit of weight to it. The handle, first impressions, it doesn't feel cheap. It does actually feel uh, quite quality uh, product. Does open up quite wide. These on the back, we have got uh, 2.4, 3.2, and the 4 mil, which it also gives you the uh, imperial measurement as well. So 330 seconds, 1 eighth and 5.30 seconds. The one that's installed is the 3 sixteenths or 4.8 mil. So I'll get a piece of steel set up, uh, drill some holes, get everything prepared and we'll do a, a few tests with it. Um, before we do that though I'll just have a closer look at the end. Uh, how it works let's just uh, undo it a little bit so this is if you you get a blockage so there we go you can see this is the uh, clamping mechanism that clamps round the rivet to, to pull it um, yeah looks quite a nice design so we will give it a go just before we test it I'll show you what we actually get in the box as well you get uh, a pack of 25 of each size so you've definitely got enough to get you started. Right, so as you can see, I've got a couple of holes in some scrap plate, a uh, little bit of thin sheet. That is aluminium checker plate. So we'll start off with the smallest one. So we'll just insert the rivet and then pop it in the hole there we go three squeezers very easy to squeeze and uh, yeah, as you can see it's done a nice job we'll try the next size up now
Right, so we'll start with the next size up. We'll just try one, see how it works. Still really easy to squeeze. Put a nice rivet in there. We will just give it one more, more test. It is still really easy to, to use. So we'll go to the next size up now. Will say it is really easy to change the tips. Um, I like how they're all with the tool, makes it very convenient. You're not having to store your bits separately. So we'll try this size up. So. As you can see really easy to use leaves a nice rivet good size try riveting a, a piece of steel on that so we'll see how this one works there we go yeah solid Got just enough through there. As you can see, very solid thing. So we'll try the biggest one, which is gonna be the hardest one to squeeze. So we'll see how easy it is. Up to now, they've all been really easy to, to snap off. These are the biggest rivets. So we'll try these ones. So three squeezes again, that did a nice rivet, yeah, it's uh, very impressed, it's uh, relatively easy to use, you don't need a lot of hand strength to uh, pull the rivet uh, to use it, unlike some that I have used before which take a lot of force you have to sometimes use both hands but just very nice easy to use and again that's joined really well as you can see there's plenty that is like the perfect size rivet for this size material right so overall thoughts on this uh, rivet gun it's I like it, it feels good quality, uh, easy to use, you don't have to really squeeze, you can use it one handed. Um, I like how all the different sizes are attached to the tool itself, very easy to change out. All the threads seem really nice, um, yeah it, it's worth buying in my opinion. Um, I will leave the link to it in the description if you're interested. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.